One of my favorite types of videos to watch are office tours. I really love how I can get inspiration from other people's offices, but also I love seeing like what people need in their office, what their essentials are that help them do their day-to-day -day tasks, what little gadgets they have to help make their day a little bit easier. And I really feel like somebody's office is a peek into their brain. <laughs> that might sound a little bit weird. Today, I wanted to share with you an updated office tour. I filmed a few of these in the past when I had a sticker shop back on my old channel, but my needs and my brain and in turn my office has really changed since the last time I filmed one. So let's go ahead and jump right in. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Chrissy. I film videos on this channel that not only help you grow your business online, but also give you a glimpse into my day-to-day -day life as an operations manager, a work from home mom, and all of my other interests and likes and dislikes. So if you want to stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you in our community. So for me with my office, there are three categories that I think about when it comes to the design and how I'm gonna kinda lay it out and stuff. So that's the functionality of the space the needs that I have for my office and the aesthetic that I want to go in. Let's start off with the functionality of this space. So in the past, I filmed office tours when I didn't have kids. <laughs> Actually, I think one office tour was filmed when I had kids. Um, but the room that my office was in was just my office. It didn't serve any other purpose than being my office. And that was perfect for that time because I was running a sticker shop. I had a lot of other needs for this space. So I needed sticker machines. I think at one point I had like seven sticker machines and two printers. I needed like packaging space. I needed a total desktop setup for designing. I had a lot of other needs for that space. So I needed more room. Whereas now my office also doubles as a guest bedroom. So my office portion of this room is actually just one corner. Um, I do take up most of the closet in this space for Moxie Life products, for older products, for new products that we're coming out with, for filming lights and camera stuff and gadgets and all of that stuff. But this space is not just my office. So I had to keep that in mind when I was coming up with a setup for this space. So if you are watching videos when we first moved into this house, this room actually wasn't a guest bedroom and I had my, op I had my office set up actually over there. Um, so I was able to take up a lot more um, area of this room. So like I had a chair, I had my bookcase, I had my desk, I had a bunch of other stuff, but now I've really minimalized my space. And I actually love that it's just a corner of this room. And I'll show you an overview as I'm talking through all of this. But yeah, this also doubles as a guest bedroom. So this is perfect, actually, if you're watching this and you are limited on how much space you have for your office, you can put this setup in your master bedroom if you need to, or even down in your living room, because my setup, while it does have a lot of functionality to it. It can easily be transported from one room to the next. So let's move on to the needs of the space. So like I said, in the past, I needed a lot of space. I mean, now I really just need a computer. Let's move on to aesthetic before I kind of go into everything in my office. Now, aesthetic is probably the biggest one that people are watching office tours for, and that's definitely the biggest reason I watch office tours. And it's funny because in the past, my aesthetic was a little bit chaotic. <laughs> um, when it came to my office, I really wanted stuff on display. I wanted a lot of pictures. I wanted gallery walls. I wanted to display my washi. I wanted to display all of my planner supplies, all of my planners. Um, whereas now my brain, especially starting 2023, my brain needed space. It needed empty space <laughs> more specifically. And I actually ripped like everything off of the walls around my desk because I just couldn't handle clutter in my space. So now instead of gallery walls, which I did have when my desk was back there, instead of gallery walls, I just have blank walls and I love it so much. My brain just needs the empty space to be able to focus fully and let me know if you um, relate to that or if you have an office that's a little bit more cluttered and creative than mine might be, which is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It just depends on the needs and your personal preference. Like I Said, at the beginning of 2023, I really, really wanted a clean aesthetic. 
a bunch of space. I wanted most of my clutter to be away. That's why I was so excited when Grove Made reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out any of their products. So they did send me a bunch of products to kind of pimp out my desk and I'm so, so grateful for that. So thank you Grove Made for that. And I'll be sharing those products with you today. The aesthetic of my office now is designed to help me work smarter and more focused. And it's really, really shown in the work that I've gotten done this year so far. So let's go ahead and I guess show you around my office let's just jump into it okay so when you first walk into my office this is what you see so let me go ahead and give you a little pan of the room like I said this half is a guest bedroom so I'm not really going to go into that you can basically see the entire functionality along with my cat Ori who is snoozing away this is really my office space this corner of the room so one thing that i wanted to point out that i did is like i said i got rid of most clutter all of the clutter that i do have i've kind of kept to this like away from my eye level so i've kept it down here so that when i walk in it's very clean and simple so as you walk in you see my keyboard right here which i have gotten back into piano i got back into it last year i haven't actually played it this year it's all my goals to play it a little bit more this year but a really good app if you're looking at getting back into piano is simply piano i have it on my ipad and it actually listens to you playing and teaches you that way and it's really really great so i'll leave that link down below as well we have a tv up here for the guest bedroom portion so this is my desk set up right here i love this desk this is actually a standing or sitting desk that i got when we first moved into this house and i really really love it i will say i don't use it in the standing function nearly as much as I, as i should i am actually saving up to get a like a walking pad for under my desk here i have tons of space to be able to store it so i want to get a walking pad for under my desk right now i actually have like a laptop attachment for my big treadmill in the basement but i really really want to be able to walk and work with my big screen so i'm saving up for a walking pad hopefully by the end of 2022 I will have one or 2023 <laughs> I will have one under there and that'll be awesome I love working and getting my steps in once you get the hang of it it's really really great I have a basket under there with my heated blanket because that's essential this chair I got an office max years and years and years ago so I probably don't have a link for that I'm going to show you actually what my desk looked like before I set it up with all of this Grove made stuff it definitely was not as organized or functional or put together it was a little bit of a mess I kind of did a big overhaul when I got the Grove made products in the mail and I took everything off my desk I reorganized all of my wires down below and I reset up my desk so I got a few things from Grove Made that I'm going to go through with you now, but again, a huge thank you to them for sending them to me because it's really helped make my functional desk easier to put together for sure. And it's definitely given the aesthetic that I want, like professional, clean, sophisticated, and functional at the same time. So let's go ahead and show you a few of the things that I got that are on my desk. So the first thing that I picked up from Grove Made that I really like, and I thought this was going to be more aesthetic than it actually is, but it actually serves a lot of more functions. And it's this felt desk pad that I got. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit more in focus, but it's really eliminated a lot of things. So it's eliminated the need for a mouse pad on my desk. It's also eliminated the need for a coaster or like water ring when I have coffee on here like iced coffee or glasses of water and I also feel like it's a nice little like container to help keep the rest of my desk a little bit organized so more than likely I will always have my planner on here right now I'm using my moxie life daily planner and I absolutely love it but I just love this desk pad a lot more than I actually thought it was I was going to I mean I knew I was gonna love it but more aesthetically than anything but it's actually been really functional for me too I did want to take a second to talk about my keyboard and my mouse these two pieces are amazing investments. I, I say that a lot, but I did a lot of research into the tech pieces that I wanted to invest in. And these two pieces, along with the monitor, were really, really great investments for me. I love this keyboard because it's ergonomic, so it's curved as you can see. So it makes typing a lot easier. Um, it is a bit of a learning curve to get used to, but it really helps like no wrist pain, no finger pain when you're typing for like long periods of time. And the same thing with this mouse, it's again, an ergonomic mouse, 
So it's much more comfortable to hold than another mouse or if you're using like the Apple trackpad or anything like that. But what I love about this is there's so many buttons on here that you can actually program to do different things. So like I've programmed one of the buttons to be like copy and then paste and it makes my job a lot easier. Let's move over here and then we will work our way back over there. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this laptop stand so this is a laptop stand that you put your laptop in when it's closed and charging and i really like this because it means that i have more space on my desk so this is also from grove made and i love how it has this like felt on the inside to kind of protect your laptop too and it's just beautiful it matches all of the other stuff that i have on my desk and yeah it's added a lot more space as well so i do keep some of my like most used accessories out here so i have my moxie markers there and you will see my expandable pen pouch, which has a few other pens and markers and stuff. I love this lamp just to add a little bit more aesthetic to my desk. I have my Google Home for an external speaker for all of my music. And then moving on to these lights, this is another way that I've made my setup a lot easier to kind of manage, especially when it comes to creating content. So I've said a lot of times that this year I want to make content creation easier for myself. So I have invested in pieces that will help make content creation easier. And one of those pieces is these lights. I got them on Amazon. They're not really expensive, so I will leave them linked down below, but I'll show you here as well, like how they actually work. So they're really easy to turn off and fold away. So I can turn them on when I want to film a video, or if it's like a particularly gloomy day and I have a meeting that I need to be on camera for, they're really great lights with tons of functionality. And again, they don't take up too much space. So they're great if you don't have a lot of space in your office or like even for storage. So moving on to the middle, we have my monitor, which is my like best investment for my office to date. If you are looking for something big, this monitor is awesome. And it really, I, like I said, I just want to marry this thing. It's changed my life. It's, <laughs> I can't function without it. And then let's move down to the bottom. So this is actually from Grove Made and it is a monitor stand and what i love about this is that it gives my again more space to get things off of my main desk and put away it gives everything a space so i have my moxie life planner under there i have a notebook that i use for notes i keep my ipad in there and then i also have this beautiful like drawer i can't remember exactly what they call it but this is also from grove made and it gives me the ability to like keep things again away <laughs> so that my mind can be clear of clutter. So I love this monitor stand. Again, it's that beautiful walnut finish on top and it just makes everything feel like so much more elevated. Then moving on over, we have my to-do list that I like to keep out so that if anything comes up that isn't on task for today, I can just jot it down instead of like getting distracted and starting on something new and then add it to my to-do list for the next day. So this is actually something that is my newest purchase and this is a plexi plexi cam. So before I got this desk uh, monitor stand, I just had my Logitech Brio on top of my monitor as usual, but once I got this stand, it was actually like way too high and it was hard to get me in frame. And it was really obvious that like I wasn't looking at the camera. So I got the Plexi clamp. Oh my gosh, that's really hard to say. The Plexi cam. And essentially like all it is, is this little like Plexi acrylic thing that you connect your webcam to, and then you hook it onto your monitor. And since it's clear, you can still see the person behind you, but it looks Looks like you're more looking directly into the person's eyes or into the camera than you would be if you were like looking above the camera or above the monitor so I really really like that it's absolutely not essential at all it was definitely a splurge that was not 100% needed but I really like it, it makes me feel a little bit less self-conscious <laughs> and then moving over here this is the last piece that I got from Grove made my big headphone stand and what I love about this is that my headphones again always have a place like a lot of times when people are thinking about like investing in stuff for their office they don't really think about stuff like this because they're like oh that's like not really essential like I need stuff that's like going to organize like all of my little bits and pieces of crap whatever 
But honestly, always having a place for my headphones has been really, really awesome. I love that I can just take them off and stick them on there. They're never getting in the way. I always know where they are. And it's just, again, really nice to look at, not gonna lie. So yeah, like I said, simple, but everything has a function and it gives everything a place. And I think that's really just what is needed in the bare bones of an at-home office. And I'm really happy that I could build this out with Grovemade and also build it out in a way that helped my brain <laughs> focus, AKA lots of space, lots of places for everything that I needed near me and just like beautiful to look at. So that is it for my office tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration. Like I said, any products that I mentioned in this tour will be linked in the description box down below if I do have a link for them. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, if you got any inspiration for your office, how you like to have your office set up, and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.